Hello, beautiful people. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, we already got folks here asking questions. Let me fix the um, light situation. Really dark in her. Does that help? All right. It's very red in here. <laughs> All right. We already got 13 people here. While we're waiting for people to file in, I am Amanita Dreamer. And I work with the Amanita Muscari Mushroom. And you may notice that my channel has no ads because YouTube, on top of like just gutting my channel and censoring the hell out of it and shadow banning me, also demonetized. So the only way that I can support myself and pay for all of the free education that I have moved everything over to, which is AmanitaDreamer.net, and it is all free. I don't even ask for your email address. Just go watch videos and learn. And I pay the bills for everything at MushroomVoice.com. And that is where I make products with this mushroom and I sell them there. And tomorrow my holiday store opens and I have got more products than I have ever had before. I've been working for months on this. I'm very excited about it. I'm very nervous about it. We've done a lot of upgrades to the site. We've done a lot of test runs to make sure everything's going to be cool and ready to go. So tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., the store opens and this time I am back stocked. I got enough to get me through. So there's some items that there's just one or two of that item. And there's others that I made plenty that there should be plenty of it to go through December. I brought some items here to show you a little bit of an ad for my channel, if you don't mind. And we'll get into that here soon. So that's like the quick little rundown. I've dropped a link to both AmanitaDreamer.net, which is free to use, free for you, tons of education for you, and MushroomVoice.com, which is where the store is. So those are the first two things in the chat. Who's all is here, Chris? He's going to be here after a big meal. I wonder if he made it. <laughs> Good day from Australia. So yeah, hey, David. It is seven, what, eight, nine o'clock in the morning? For you? Am I correct on that? What would be a macro in hero dose? Um, David, this is not a one size fits all mushroom and it is a huge range. And that for you may be different depending on how long you've been using the mushroom or your brain chemistry. So there's no easy answer. Ah, I was off by an hour and a half, David. Um, so yeah, it's the way that you answer that is you have to start small and work your way up. We don't know what your dose is. No, no one can just say, hey, this is your dose. Um, that's what's unique about this mushroom is everyone's dose is different. I'm sorry that I can't give you a better idea than that. But I have dosing videos at AmanitaDreamer.net. Just go over there and, and watch those and, and get started where you feel like you should. You know what I mean? Hi from UK. Hey, Diesel. Hey, Casey. Hey, Cyan. Eric. Hey, Eric. Same to you. Cool, cool. Hey, Slastukin is back. We're going to do cards again, but this time we're doing Cats Against Anxiety. Isn't that great? <laughs> it doesn't matter, um, David, what you're microdosing on, and we don't speak in grams. We speak in volume because you make the tea recipe, and that's what you should be using to take your doses higher. If you're just doing dried grams and, and eating them like that, then you're getting a lot of iotonic acid and you can't go up from there or you'll get immediate gastric issues. So you have to make the tea recipe and then go from there with it. So go, go look up the tea recipe and how to make it and then find your micro dose there on the tea. But if you if you watch those videos, I have one on how to find your dose. And I talk about macro and high dosing. So it, I think I do a good job of it. I think that you won't need me after you after you watch those videos. But if you do, I mean, I'm doing a whole, like, you know, my book. If you don't have the book, this is all about dosing and what to expect. But, like, if you don't want a workbook and stuff and, like, all of the what to expect things that are going to happen to you on Amanita as you go higher and higher. If you don't care about any of that and you just want the free stuff, you know, then the video should be plenty. If you want help though, I'm teaching a class on dosing, basically this book in real life, like by zoom, 
Um, if you go to AmanitaDreamer.net and go to the events page, I've got the whole winter lineup of courses that I'm teaching, but I'm doing a whole week long course on this if you want to take that. So you have options. You can just watch the videos. You can get the book, work it out on your own, come to the class, whatever. Uh, where are we? Isan Deutschland. Hello. Welcome. Wow. Benjamin is in France. Hey, Curly Sue. Curly Sue's in England. Good Lord. We got a lot of Europeans here. Hey, Ray in Louisiana. Yeah. Throwing powder and tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if you're using lemon, that's, that's going to help. Um, Diesel, did you put lemon juice in your tincture or was it in the alcohol? Um, it depends. The ones that I make here at home, I put lemon juice in them. But I'm actually working on a product that I'm going to talk about. I don't have tinctures on the market yet. I'm in that process. I have a vendor that sells tincture and he and I work together on that tincture. And that's made by a whole different process. So I don't know which tincture you're referring to, but you're welcome, David. That's why I'm here. Jan's in Norway. So many Europeans here. Y'all, it's so late for you, too. Yeah, Casey, I don't know what Americans have against electric tea kettles. But like when I was in Europe, there were tea kettles and rooms and, you know, everywhere. But when you travel in America, it's so hard to get a tea kettle. Hey, Slash, Slash, love your book. I've already read it twice. Oh, thank you. Cool. Hey, Nicholas. Welcome, welcome. Nicholas is in our community. Yeah, if y'all ever want to talk to anybody that's using this, come to the community. It helps support the work that I do, but you get to have friends and other people that are sort of like like-minded that are using entheogens and stuff, and they tend to have a lot of the same issues. Started my Amanita journey 10 days ago. Oh, yeah, cool. I hope you find your dose. And Scotland is here. Hi, Ocean. I'm on Uranus right now. <laughs> well, thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Lou, Amanitas are everywhere at the moment in England. The pine forests are full. Y'all have had a crazy fruiting season. They were fruiting when I was there in October. So that's crazy that y'all are still fruiting. Let me turn this light up a little bit more. Hang on just a second. Is that better? That's better. That's better. All right. Let's, um, oh, we only got 27 people. Y'all, I marketed the hell out of this. And of course, I'm shadow banned on all social media. So I actually paid for an ad to promote this live. It's the only way like Facebook will even push my stuff, except that um, post that went viral. And I didn't understand rage farming until I experienced that. And it really was getting pushed out to people that would make shitty comments and say angry things. And as soon as I got uh, all you guys to go over there and say positive things, it cut it off. Like they quit pushing it out. As soon as it was gaining traction in a positive way, they that's it. They quit pushing that post. It was over. And that's sad. So, yeah, I just wanted to have a party here. Um, I can't make money on lives. A lot of people go live so that they can um, make money to help support their channel because you can do these, like, paid little chat things, you know, where you send them money, like tips or whatever. And I've watched people make a lot of money on their lives and they engage and interact. And, you know, they do like, if I get this many like super chats or whatever, then I'll do this particular thing on camera or whatever. But because they have demonetized my channel, like I literally am not allowed to make any money off of YouTube in any way. Um, so yeah. And they don't even let me push my videos. So I don't do this to make money. I do it because I like to have community too. And today being a holiday here in the United States, it's a family oriented holiday. And it can be a really problematic one because it's not one centered around activities or like things that you can distract. It's actually centered around being grateful and around sitting around a table and having a meal and all this stuff. And it's predicated on like a lot of, 
whitewashed lies about the indigenous community. It's, it's a really problematic holiday, but it can be even more problematic for our community, especially because a lot of us are using entheogens to try to heal from PTSD and toxic upbringing and a lot of toxic situations. So this day in particular, I think can get really difficult for a lot of people. There are a lot of people that are in toxic marriages and the in-law situation is intolerable. And so they choose not to go to eat at these families and to stay home and be alone. And then that can be lonely. There's people that are lonely already. And so this just makes them feel even more lonely. There's people that want to be around their family, but they can't because they can't get there. They can't afford to get there because the economy is so bad. They can't get away from work. Um, there's people that are just in toxic family situations and they've had to set boundaries or go no contact with their entire family. And this community in particular, I think, is more susceptible to that because we are growing. We are trying to better our lives. And once you put mushrooms in the mix, that can just skyrocket your growth. And it can send you into a place where your shadow work begins, whether you sort of like it or not, or whether you were prepared for it or not. And we'll talk about um, shadow work too. And so I really like to go live on holidays, especially like this one, because it's so problematic on Christmas, because so many of us don't celebrate that holiday and it just feels very weird and very commercial. And then like Valentine's Day, I always go live on Valentine's Day. So I try to do these lives, especially at times like this, so that I know for some of you, this is the only thing that you have that you look forward to, like on that whole day. And I want to be here for that. But also, like, you guys are my community, too. And I have slowly lost touch with most of my family or extended family or whatever. And after the divorce, you know, that whole side of the family, him being gone, um, my daughter not living here. She lives in another state. You know, she's 30. So, like, she's grown. And uh, she can't get away. She works in um, a job where she can't get away. So, you know, it's... I'm not lonely and I could just sit, especially after y'all have seen my story. And I spent that almost a whole year sitting alone out on my balcony. Once I did that, like I learned the value in being alone. And when I get lonely, I have so many ways that I can reach out to people, you know, and not feel so lonely. But after being on entheogens now and using them for, Damn, I think five years now. I'm finally getting to a point where I'm just not lonely that much anymore. Finally. But I know many of you are just starting your journey. And that loneliness can be gutting. Like, it can be really, really deep. So I just wanted to be here, whether you're lonely or not, just so that you can actually come hang out with someone that maybe is understands the language you're speaking and the world that you're living in if you don't have that in your family currently or anyone that you can hang out with. So I go live every month just so that if you can't afford to be in our community and like actually Zoom with us and hang out with us, um, if you just feel really in your world, like you're the only one using entheogens and if you told people they would really judge you or whatever, and I, I want this to be a place where you can come to and you see other people here in the chat and you feel like you're part of something. You know what I mean? Like it, it feels less weird and less isolating to be learning the way we're learning and growing like this. So that's one of the reasons that I do these lives. I look forward to them too. I mean, this may be like how I support myself and you guys and like pay the bills or whatever. But like, I love it. <laughs> this is what I do. I love that. I get up every day now and go, oh my God, I'm up. I get to keep doing stuff. Like, let's go. I got stuff to do. Let's go. There's parts of my job I don't like, you know, just like y'all. Like, I don't like doing the accounting and the books and stuff. And there's email things that I don't understand the language used in them or what they're trying to say because of my autism, you know, and I'm like, Oh, I wish there was an autism translator. Or something. 
But all the other stuff, like I freaking love it. I love making videos. I love editing videos. I love doing these lives. And I like interacting with the kind of people that I get to interact with to do my job because they also use entheogens and we're sort of like on that same brainwave and mindset, you know, let me catch up on a couple of these. And then I want to talk to you about um, the products that I'm working on, the tincture that I'm working on and the test market. Like it's a really big step for the channel. And then I wanted to show y'all some of the products that are going to be in the store tomorrow morning, which I'm very nervous about. Let me catch up on comments. A lot of y'all were talking to each other, so it won't be much catching up right now. Amnes are everywhere at the moment in England. We got that. Um, have you found me locally? No, Nicholas. I uploaded that video, and then we got rain day before yesterday all day long. So I let yesterday, I let them percolate, like if they were going to grow, give them a chance to come up. And I went out today, nothing. I spent the whole day looking, driving around. Part of the problem is that if y'all go to amnitadreamer.net and look at all my foraging videos where I'm just, where I'm grabbing amnitas, loving on them and finding them and taking pictures with them and crying, all that is on amnitadreamer.net because the first spree of takedown videos that YouTube did, they took down all my foraging videos because it was dangerous and illicit activities. <laughs> so uh, they're over there. All of the sites that you see me harvesting in are gone. They have all been clear cut. They are gone. They don't exist anymore. There are now apartments and buildings and stuff there. So I'm out looking for new mycelium, but the one at the lake, if any of y'all know about the lake, the one at the lake always makes something and there wasn't any there today. So I had these other like little spots, you know, where I found a few. I mean, I drove all over the northern part of Georgia today. Just nothing. I'm so scared they're not coming. Um, David, absolutely. I can send you the book to Australia. The hard copy should be in your Amazon. I'd like to know if it isn't. Um, you mentioned tequila and lemon in the video. Yeah, yeah. Um, that tincture. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I, I put lemon in that one. That's what you're wanting to know, right? That I use lemon. Lots of persicina popping in Northeast Florida. Why, Casey? Why do you have them and I don't? Damn it. Mushroom party. Woo. Well, when we do the community, like I have raves and dance parties and we like actually use the mushroom because we can. I'm on YouTube. Like this is live. So I can't, I can't use on camera, but at our Christmas party, I'm going to, we're going to dance for an hour and like use uh, together on the zoom. And then we're going to do like dirty Santa gifts or whatever. And then we're going to do like show and tell. So if y'all join the community for December, y'all can play with us. That's going to be on December 23rd. And my uh, zoom that I host and answer all your questions. It's the first Saturday of every month. So that's coming up, not this Saturday, but the next one. Hi, BFW. Night all. Going to watch your live tomorrow, Dreamer. What? No. Um, I'm. This is my live here. My store opens tomorrow. I'll be busy doing that. So if you leave, that's it. Bye, Lou. Got no pine around me, but I find them birch and oak. Yeah, in Europe, y'all get them th around a lot of birch. Harvested a year's worth in two walks. That's phenomenal. Good for you. A lot of families don't accept change, even if it's positive. Yeah, well, you know, there's that whole thing of when you change the way the family dynamic is working and people have worked really hard jockeying for years to get everybody to get in line. And then you start changing that family dynamic. They're worried you're going to make everything fail. And then they're going to hurt and lose or you're acting weird. And now they're going to have to push you out to try to keep the family together and not let it change. And that usually is what causes 
the biggest issue is they're angry at you for making them choose. They think they have to choose. They re they don't realize they don't. Let's see. Um, I'm very thankful for this live. Same here. Used to being alone. It's fun because I have the freedom to do anything I want. It's very freeing to finally reach that point. I went through so much loneliness. Loneliness sucks. And yeah, now I'm like, I do whatever I want. It's so nice. Nicholas, we appreciate you so much. Thank you for making this community. It gives me a judgment-free platform to research and make like-minded friends. You are so welcome. And you're such a valued part of He's in our community. You're such a cool part of the community. I'm a community warden and loneliness is everywhere and all ages. I know it's sad and it's getting worse. Every year, I always give thanks for my life. There's so many ways I could have died, and yet I'm still here. Also, proudly part of autistic community. Same. Also autistic. Hey, Slash, very introverted, so I prefer if it's just me and the dog and cat. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, love it. Zonk, found the biggest Amanias I've ever seen this year in Germany. Wow. So I guess y'all are going to win the award this year. Does anyone know a source in the UK? I mean, they're all over the UK, man. Um, I Most people won't give up their spots. But I, one thing I can tell you to do if you want to hunt for stuff is go to Instagram. I don't know if you have an account. You make an account on Instagram. And then when you get over there, follow hashtags like I follow Amanita Muscaria. Hashtag Amanita Muscaria. So then in my feed... Like in the off season when nothing is growing, there's no pictures of Amanita. There's artwork of it or people talking about it and stuff like that. And then when they start popping in the Southern Hemisphere, they'll start showing up. And that's how I know they're in Australia. And sometimes people will pin it on a map, like tag the map and you can see where they are. Or like in the fall when they're popping like in your area, you may recognize pictures that you see and be like, oh, okay. Or maybe you can message those people that are posting them and say, hey, where is that? So Instagram is a really valuable thing for trying to hunt for Amanita. Does anyone know a source? Of, has anyone doused for Amanita? I mean, I do it like the mushroom voice. <laughs> Never doused for it. Sounds interesting. Never seen any in New York. Um, they should be in upstate. They like the higher elevations. I have a friend in the UK who needs to buy elderly stroke survivor has anxiety. Um, love it. I have trusted vendors on amnitadreamer.net that I have fully vetted that I stand behind that are that are safe vendors if you want to go there. Hey, Amanita, this is hey Avil. I'm big I know, I know all about you. You've been hanging around for a very long time. Of course I remember you. You've been a little quiet lately, but, you know, when you were active, you commented on everything. I really appreciate the support. What does a mushroom voice talk like? Does it have a person? Yeah. And is it all knowing? No, I mean, they're they're sentient like any other living thing. And so they have their blind spots and their limitations. They have a personality. They have a collective personality and they have individual personalities. It feels very, um, it feels sort of non-gendered wise you know like but i have a theory that they aren't from earth you know like i don't think their first incarnation was suddenly being here i think that they've lived in other places before here so they're much older and they've had a lot longer to sort of evolve and a lot of other experiences before they came here. But they have worked with humans now for probably, you know, 25,000 years. So they have a long history with us. And when I talk to them, they talk a lot about missing the humans. And they tell me stories of their prior relationships with humans. I think that they really, I talk a lot about this in chapter eight of my book under um, Mushroom Sentience about our relationship to them. But it's really funny because sometimes they'll just be like, hey, go do this, this, this and this. We're, we're really trying to like get this done. And I'm like, OK, yeah, but like I need money. Money's a thing. Um, 
And then I'll get overwhelmed or stressed. And they're like, yeah, but you really need to go do this thing. And I'm like, look, I am exhausted. And I'm also trying to deal with trauma because I'm an emotional being like this is a machine. Um, it's an energetic machine and its job is to transmute energy. So a lot of us that are on the planet now are here taking pain and transmuting it into sacred geometry, love, and then returning it to the collective so that we can heal this place. And that is an incredible amount of work. And, and they kind of, I get this feeling that they're kind of like, anyway, we still need you to do this and this. And, and, and why don't you just do it anyway? Like, can't you just feel and do it anyway? And I'm like, no, like we have a limited amount of energy as a functional system and we have to rest. And I try to tell them, you know how you can't push out mushrooms when you don't have the nutrients that you need and you conserve all that shit. And when you don't have enough rain, you can't make mushrooms. So like if I don't have enough energy, I can't make the talk. I can't make the emotion that pushes me to do the things like I can't give birth to ideas or make content if I don't have energy. And then I'll tell them, you know how lightning will strike. And suddenly when you didn't have what you needed, now you have it that lightning gave it to you. Like we don't get that. We have to sleep. We have to rest. We have to decompress and come out of fight or flight, which they don't have. They don't have a fight or flight system. So there's a thing, there are things that are foreign to fungi. There's a way that we live, that we embody being what it means to be human as a, as a, an, an emotional machine and our ability to move and walk with this really fucking huge brain. Um, and this is a very energy expensive organ and it's very draining to have a brain. So our, we are such complex living systems that it takes just such an incredible amount of energy to just exist that I don't think that they truly understand what it really means to be tired all the fucking time. So <laughs> I joke with them about it. I laugh or I just say, look, y'all gotta leave me alone. Cause like right now it ain't going to happen. I'm tired. Or I'll joke with them and be like, okay, but I need the funds. Have you not noticed that I'm like doing this for you guys to help you further your mission. But then I keep getting shut down at all of these different ways that I'm trying. So it takes money to continue to do this. So y'all are going to kind of have to help me out in that respect or something. Like I've got limitations as a human, just like you do as a fungi. So these are the kind of conversations that I have with them and they're funny because they have that Loki ibotenic acid energy. Um, but then they can also be very wise. And that wisdom part will take over sometimes when I'm just really drained. And I think they step in and, and they'll say, okay, well, we can help you, but you're going to have to like microdose and I'll, I'll get busy and forget. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'll microdose and then they'll all come in and do the work from the inside where they can really do the work, you know. Source for the UK. OK, uh, you're welcome. Oh, OK. They all are talking to each other, talking to each other. Joshua Tree and that's talking to each other. Cool, cool, cool. I uh, was busy with talking to each other. Uranus is full of mushrooms. Our culture is known for amniotra. Really? I think when I leave this incarnation, maybe I was an Amanita before this incarnation. Holy shit. Now I got to think about that. I need to do psilocybin and ask them about it because I get better global answers from psilocybin. How about I come give you some Thanksgiving? You know what? Um, all right, NFT. We're going to put you in a timeout. If you only meant mushrooms, then I apologize and we'll let you right back here in just a minute. Um, let's see. Fantastic answer. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, I mean, thank you. And 
Okay. <laughs> um, no, aliens are real. I just, the question of their embodiment, you know, like I talk about some of that in the book, you know, about fungal sentience and stuff. Making some delicious chocolates with Christian's extract. Oh, really? You got some of that? That's cool. Every time I get chocolates, different people send me, you know, different companies or whatever want me to try their Amanita chocolates. I wind up giving them away. Uh, let's see. You absolutely are Amanita. Yeah, like maybe I was before this incarnation. Maybe. I don't know. All right. Um, NFT, let me talk to you. I didn't know if you meant that um, if you're being a troll or if you meant you were trying to be careful with the censorship and not write mushrooms or Amanita, but you can write those things. So I'll bring you back out of. All right. Um, so what I'm doing, this is my super sleep cream and it is completely saturated with magnesium and it's got Amanita oil extract and the water that I use to make it, I drive two hours north of here to water that comes fresh out of the mountain and it's got all the minerals that your body needs in it. Um, I don't have much of this left. Unfortunately, I don't have time to make more. Winter solstice is coming up and every winter solstice, I make a ceremony kit. And if you don't have drums, then I have a Spotify playlist of different cultural drums that you can listen to for the um, winter solstice. And then because I can't be with you to ceremony and give you your rune, I have rune cards. And so every kit comes with your rune card for you to focus on that rune from the winter solstice until the spring equinox. And then this is winter solstice ceremonial oil and it has cedar branches in it and it's sealed with a cork and then wax sealed. And this is um, Amanita oil extract, pantherina oil extract. I think I've got rosemary that I made an oil extraction I made and then clove is in this one. And this is kind of heavy. Um, so this is a necklace and it has a screw in the bottom and I unscrewed it. And I'm my persicinas that grow here, the batch that I got last year, I only had enough to make one bottle of tincture with it. And I signed the books. They wanted to sign the book because they helped me write it. So I would sign my books at book signings and drip the tincture on the book so they could sign it too. And that tincture is what's inside this necklace so that you can carry the mushroom with you, wear it during ceremony or whatever. And then malachite, which is the stone for working with um, darker energy and starting your shadow work. So this is the winter solstice ceremony kit. And we're about to pull your cards. Your cats against anxiety card. That's the winter kit. And I restocked the Meet the Panther. I did two videos about Amanita Pantherina. And the in the video, I talked to you about ways to start working with the mushroom and how to meet the mushroom. So this is just a, a Meet the Panther kit. And it's Pantherina extract um, powdered. And you don't have to, they're earrings, but you don't have to wear them. I took mine off and use them as zipper pulls. So that's that. I have the tincture. Let me talk to you about the tincture that I am making. There is a store here locally. Um, it's not a single store. He has a, a bunch of stores in the Atlanta metro area. And I am going to be test marketing a tincture, three tinctures that I have created one is straight ibotenic acid, one is a partial conversion, and one is full muscamol. And we are going to test market them in his store. And the chemist sent me all these different bottles. And they were just like A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, C3. And I tried them all and like, yes, no, yes, yes, no, whatever. 
And the one that worked was A2. That was the one I went with for the partial conversion. And so what I did is I put together a Christmas hot chocolate kit. And it's stuff that you need to make it like this is um, one serving. There's two servings in here of hot cocoa that I made. I made the hot cocoa mix myself. And I used a bunch of different natural sweeteners, not sugar. So it won't spike your blood glucose. And then these are additives that you can put in there. There's cayenne, blue lotus, and cinnamon bark. And then, of course, freeze-dried marshmallows. And A2, the tincture, the one that we are going with. But this is straight out of the bottle that came from the chemist lab. Um, and this is two microdoses to put in the two servings. So it's for a couple or it's for one person to use twice. I made 15 of these. I have, and this is not all. Like, I didn't want to spend too much time talking about products. There's easily twice as much as this. This is healing potion. There's six of these. And this is a kit. There's three of these. Each box is different. I hand painted these. This was one of my stickers from last winter, is it Mushroom Mandala, that my um, shaman artist painted for me. And then I had made into a sticker. But I painted the box. It's like, it's not showing up, but it's pearlescently purple and blue, like the colors you see on psilocybin, but it also looks like winter, which is kind of why I painted it that color. And in it, we have the winter work oil, and this is made for doing shadow work. So you're going to put it on parts of your body that are close to your blood vessels, so it'll get into your bloodstream. And in this kit is selenite, which is really good at moving whatever you want it to move. So you can program it with what you want. And then this is winter work oil. And then I have another kit in my store, a banishing kit, because when you're doing winter work, a lot of times you're having to set boundaries and push substances away from your life or people out of your life or jobs. And you may have a hard time leaving those jobs or leaving those things. And a banishing kit can help you separate yourself from those things, set boundaries, or get rid of people. And so there's stuff in here. There's a, a card that I had printed up. I like designed it and had printed up on how to do different ceremonies for getting rid of negative energy or like a cord cutting or whatever. And I included in the kit what you would need to do that. And then this is um, shadow work oil. So this actually has crystals in it that I put out under a full moon so that they could clear. And then I actually, when I spoke to them to program them, asked them to wait and hold the wishes of the receiver of the oil. And so what you're seeing in there are crystals and rosemary. If you can see them, I don't know. And this is black tourmaline that you wear for while you're doing dark work because it's real good at taking dark and negative energy and holding it for you until you can take it outside and um, put it in a full moon. I did not used to believe in any of this. I am very science-based before you come giving me shit about it. Until I started studying the structure of like selenite and any any gemstones like this that people say do this kind of work the main element of the periodic table that builds the structure for all of these gemstones is silicon and you know what's in your computer holding and transmitting information is a silicon chip once I learned that, I'm like, okay, okay, I get it now. So then also Celtic sea salt. And all of that is in this box. There are only three of these. 
And that's all I'm going to make this year. Those are the only products I'm going to show you on camera right now because I don't want people to leave or get bored or whatever and get frustrated because this is like one long commercial or something. I'm, it's partly because I hope you go to the store, but also like I'm really proud. Proud of it. <laughs> I've spent so long working on these things. Okay. Let me catch up on a couple of comments and then we will start your cards. We'll pull your cards. Yeah, the sleep cream is badass, Crystal. Everything um, that I make and sell is because I made it for myself first because I needed it. And then when it worked. Um, last year, they didn't work because I was smoking. The, yeah, yeah, it'll do that, Lou. Pay on the information here, I had to quit. Oh, good for you. I'm so glad to hear that. YouTube doesn't want people access spiritual knowledge provided by it. Yeah, it's pretty powerful stuff. It's not just the tube. Mushrooms can also make people, which is a problem. That is a problem. I made chocolate truffles with your oil. How'd that go? Love it. <laughs> Judy, do you think Amanita would be helpful? Um, so I can't answer that because in the United States, that's practicing medicine without a license. What I can do is refer you to AmanitaDreamer.net and in the menu, you'll see the word research. Just go peruse that page and see what you can find out about that. Winter solstice is, is so more important than summer solstice. I am wanting to visit Stonehenge. Are you going to go? It's only been twice for summer. I'm going to disagree with you. Um, winter is very important for inner work. But summer is very, very important for our work. They balance each other. But yeah, it's more important for inner work and for shadow work. Oh, I know, Eve, Evil. That's that's all I do is is self care stuff. I'm teaching a class on self care in February for Love Month. Yeah, y'all go to amanitadreamer.net and go to events, and that's my whole winter lineup of all the classes I'm teaching. Again, because I love to help you guys, and I have to do. I can't just do it for free and hope that I'll get paid from social media anymore. So like, it's a way for me to support myself, but also to get to interact with you guys. How to use the ceremony oil. Um, so the, it, I, there's ceremonial cards that come with the winter solstice kit. I just didn't show it on camera that tells you how to use it. So you'll have all that. Um, and it's on this card, the banishing oil. It's on this card for that too. Uh, let's see. Link potion bottle is stunning. Thank you. Yay. Box is crazy. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it a lot. Anyone else ask the mushroom before picking? I say it loud. Please don't pick you for my medicine. I don't even ask them. Like when I walk by them, they're like, me, me, me. And then others will just be like, hoping I don't see them. And then I'll go to pick them. Like I'll go to touch them and they go, no. Or they'll be like, I don't know. I don't think I want to go. I'm like, then don't go. You're fine. We won't go. Uh, John is probably already gone. Bye. Zon uh, Zonk's talking, talking to Curly. Nice one. It feels very respectful. Uh, in fact, really fascinating with what you have to show. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. I don't assume. I am too, but like I don't assume everybody... I'm scribbling down a wish list. Yay. I don't know where you, where did you say you were, Sloss? The It opens at 10 in the morning, my time, and I'm on New York time. So if you're in Europe, then it'll be like afternoon for you. You know what I mean? Diesel, you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Do you communicate with crystals the same way you talk to the mushrooms? Yes. Um, this mushroom and psilocybin opened me up to all of that. I didn't used to hear any of that until using mushrooms. Now, yeah, um, they were instrumental in the grieving and healing from my divorce. I have really big selenite and I would put them at the foot of the bed and run them this way and my feet are this way. And at night they would, all my nightmares and dreams and all of that, they would run it out for me. And I could hear them when they were full, you know, and like the sounds they make when they were full. 
and needed a break, you know, and when they needed to go outside and stuff, it's been really nice. It's been very eye opening realizing what's sentient and what what we think is sentient versus what I'm learning is, you know what I mean? Hey, Daniel. The chocolate pan around. Oh, it's so great. Mix the bags. Half a jam. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, <gasps> mmm. <laughs> I melted into the couch for an hour and then felt super groovy. Yay! I gave the rest to friends. See, that's what I do. I give it all away. Hi, Mateen from Sweden. I have dried mushrooms. Probably I'll have my first try now. Oh, yay! Cool. It's late where you are. Very late. Just finished my trauma group and learned so much more about the vagus nerve. Yep. Links to Amanita. Absolutely. That's exactly where Amanita works. That is exactly where Amanita works. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Eastern Canada, 844. Oh, wow. I didn't know there was another time zone. What? Are you like in Nova Scotia or something? Weird. I did not know there that the eastern most part of Canada tipped over into another time zone. Oh, it's because we went back an hour. The United States does that whole shifting around for time zones thing. Oh, I forgot about that. Never mind. We're in the same time zone. Yeah. Scold, Casey. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's early in the morning for you, Diesel. You're going to be up all night, I guess. Let's do your cards. So these are, um, there's one more zone in Newfoundland. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I just learned a new thing today. I was today years old when I found that out. Thank you for that. Um, I'm going to drink a little tea. And what I want you guys to do is if you want me to read your card from Cats Against Anxiety, I will pull you a card. So what I want you to do is stop talking in the chat. And instead, if you want me to pull a card for you, just say yes or me. That's all I want you to write in chat. And then I'll just go down and pull your card from the Cats Against Anxiety to give you something to think about. Can we get more candles? Clinton! Hi, friend! More candles. Like the ones that were in the kit? In the banishing kit? I don't know. I don't know where you would get them. I bought them in bulk. Like, lots. And I made a bunch of banishing kits. I've just almost sold them all. All right, I'm going to drink tea. My son was getting sick, and now my throat hurts. So I think he may be giving it to me. North Alabama, Joseph. You and I are neighbors. I'm in North Georgia. I go to North Alabama. Well, I used to go to North Alabama a lot for rock climbing. Up to Sand Rock, Horse Pins 40, Chattanooga. Joseph, when you said much thanks and love from North Alabama, did that mean pull a card for you? I'm going to pull you a card. You can listen or not listen. How about that? All right, are we done? 37 people is all we got. All right, that all the people that want a card? All right. Just keep this in mind that the order that I'm seeing on the back end is not the same order you're going to see. So if you see me call someone's name right above you and then I don't call you next, it's not because I skipped you. I rarely skip anybody. If I do, if I say I'm finished and you didn't get a card, then you let me know because I'm not going anywhere until everybody gets all their questions answered, has said everything they want to say in the chat, and has got a card. All right? That is my promise to you. Because I love you, beautiful people, and I am grateful for you. Because of you, I get to get up and do what I love every day. All right. Y'all ready? De Marie. Hi, De Marie. You're first. You ready? All 
right. Dee Marie, this is you. It is keep the faith. I am grateful. Sometimes you don't notice the best parts of your life until they're gone. Become more aware today of the ordinary things that you're glad to have. Love it. You are next. You ready? You're all the way over here. Find your balance. Sit in a comfortable, quiet place and set a timer for five minutes. Allow your eyes to close. Breathe in slowly, feeling your belly rise and fall with each breath. Don't make an effort to look for thought, but when they arise, simply notice them. OG Crypto Daniel, you please. Okay. Ready? Dream big. Yeah, you. Visualize success. Instead of focusing on all the things that can go wrong, imagine all the things that can go right. Picture yourself confident and in control and imagine this in vivid detail and notice how you feel. That's exciting. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, y'all. I'm so nervous about the store tomorrow that I actually made myself a voice memo that said everything works perfectly. People write to me like in the little message box that they love the things or whatever, or they have really good questions. People fill in their addresses correctly. People love the stuff that I'm making and they share it with other people and things go off without a hitch. And the right things go to the right people and everybody's happy with it when they get it. And they love like the magnets and all the free things that I'm going to be giving away with all the orders. And they feel like they got a really good deal and they felt good supporting my work. And the love was felt in the products. Like I wrote, I said this and made a voice memo. Then I took Anita and I listened to it over and over and over. And then Every night when I go to sleep, like when I'm getting sleepy, I listen to it because I'm so nervous. I'm trying not to be nervous about it. Cyan. Ready? The feeling will pass. Enjoy the feeling. Be aware when you wash your hands today. Notice the splashy sounds of the water flowing down the faucet, the slick feel of the soap, and the movement of your hands against each other. Feels great, right? Mindfulness. Mindfulness. Crystal, you ready? Aw, be good to yourself. Yay. Subtle sounds. Take a moment and listen for sounds that you're usually not aware of. Try to pay attention to the parts of your life that usually go unnoticed. That's really great. I like that one. Timothy. Ready? Let it go. Holy shit. Here we go. Every day you are leveling up. Let it go. Write down three things you can control and three things you can't. Focus your efforts on what's in your power. Let go of the mental efforts on things out of your control. Ew. <laughs> oh my God. Not so easy. Not so easy. I'm sorry you got that card, but also I'm glad you got that card. All right, Slash, you ready? Slash Dukin. Storms don't last forever. Is it that bad? If you're worrying about a possible catastrophe, think about this. Would it be as bad as you fear? 
What is the worst that can happen? I have to do that a lot. <laughs> oh, yay, Slowy is here. Hi, Slowy, slow, slow. Yay. All right. Slowy, slow, it is your turn. You ready? Okie dokie. I am tough. Embrace uncertainty. We often try to figure out how things will go. This can lead to worry and anxiety. Treat today as an opportunity to embrace the fundamental uncertainty bound to our existence. The fundamental uncertainty bound to our existence. That's some powerful shit right there. You got a good card, Slowy. I love talking about that shit when I'm on psilocybin too and being like, yeah, like uncertainty is awesome. I may hate it, but like I totally get now the joy that we have is connected to uncertainty. All right, Evil, you ready? Here we go. Today is a good day. Grateful list. Make a list of things you're grateful for. A person you are grateful for. A place you are grateful for. An experience you are grateful for. A mistake you are grateful for. Work, 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 work. All right, Diesel, you ready? You're up. Diesel, you are absolutely delightful. Make a list. When you feel overwhelmed, a simple list can help you find clarity. Tackle each task one by one and restore your sense of control. I do that a lot, actually. Just about every day. I get overwhelmed every day. And then once I make the list, I'm like, well, actually, it's not that bad. Because, <laughs> you know, like in your head, it feels like you got 20, 1,000 things to do. And then you write them down and it's actually just four. <laughs> and it's like, okay, I can do four things. Okay, where are we? Next is, yay, Clinton, you're next. And then William. And Clinton, you wrote yours twice. So it's Clinton, then William, then Cynthia. All right, Clinton. Clinton, no need to be anybody else. Fun plans. Schedule and plan three activities you enjoy this week. Pick the activities that you would like to do more often that bring you enjoyment or a sense of accomplishment. I like that. It would be hard for me to find things that give me a sense of accomplishment that are not work. All right, William. You are way over here on this end. William, this is you. Ready? Good vibes only. Happy place. Picture your happy place in your mind. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you smell? Imagine it with as much detail as possible. Think of these sensations whenever you're feeling overwhelmed. I did that in childbirth. I had my first one without any medication. And that lasted through like <laughs> three centimeters, I guess. My happy place went bye-bye. <laughs> but because of that, I learned how to use that visualization. All right. Cynthia, was that was that Clinton that I just did? Or Daniel? Oh, I'm lost. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I think that was Clinton. I'm going to do Cynthia now. I'm going to do Cynthia now. If I've already done you, Cynthia, then ignore me. Like, cover your ears. <laughs> I 
think that was all right. Good luck today. Sing along. Make time today to listen to a few of your favorite songs somewhere. Give it your full attention and sing along in your head. Notice how the music affects your body and mind. Okay. We are down to Daniel, I think, if I didn't get out of order. If I didn't get it all wrong and I'm doing Daniel twice also. Well, it's this one. Okie dokie. Um, take your time. Contract your muscles and take a deep breath. Hold your breath and count to 10. Breathe out and relax. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, Joseph. I'm going to give you one, even though right now you don't say to give you one, but you commented, so I'm giving you one. Joseph, you are also over here on this end. Be awesome. No pressure. Just be awesome. Limiting beliefs. What have you been holding back from doing due to the fear of failure? Pay attention to your self-limiting beliefs. See if they're just baseless thoughts holding you back from your full potential. We are now at Curly Sue. Ready, Curly Sue? If you're new here, I'm pulling your card from the Cats Against Anxiety deck. If you want some advice. If you do, then just write the word me over here in the comment section. Ready? I am tough. Here we go with uncertainty again. Curly Sue. Embrace uncertainty. We often try to figure out how things will go. This can lead to worry and anxiety. Treat today as an opportunity to embrace the fundamental uncertainty bound to our existence. I love that fundamental uncertainty bound to our existence. I love that so much. All right, Jan, you are up. Ready? Oh, well, you're right there on the end. Um... The power of touch. Trying your best is all that matters. All right. The power of touch. Slow your mind down. Close your eyes and feel your way to peace. Trace a path around the thumb and fingers. Breathe in and out as you move up and down your fingers. That's an interesting little exercise. Never heard of it before. All right, mud flap, you ready? Did I just do mud flap? Oh, my brain tonight. I thought that was Jan. I need to start writing them down. All right, mud flap. Good luck today. Sing along. Make time to listen to a few of your favorite songs somewhere private. Give it your full attention and sing along in your head. Notice how the music affects your body and your mind. That's fun. All right, Casey Cole. Scroll down a little bit. We got Casey Cole. And then OG Crypto. No, I thought we already. Oh, yeah. You're just commenting about your card. All right. All right, Casey. Listen closely. I trust you. Pay special attention to a conversation you have today. Focus on what they're saying, their eyes, their body language. How do you feel when you bring your full presence to your interaction. As an autistic person, that is very hard to do. All right, the forever love, you ready? I'll survive this situation. Go for a walk. Just go for a walk. Don't put too much thought into it. 
tie up your shoes, walk out of the house for 20 minutes and notice how you feel after. I actually do that a lot when I am sitting at this computer and I get frustrated and overwhelmed. I just whoop, I back up, I walk out that door right there and I walk right outside and I just walk. <laughs> and usually the trees help me sort it out. If you do psilocybin, especially really, really high dose psilocybin like I do, you know, you get, I get to where I have conversations with my tree family and they say some really insightful shit. All right. Yay, D Marie. Love my card. Oh, I'm glad, Crystal. Cool. Glad I got that card. Y'all, these are great. Good for you. Thank you. You really resonated. Yay. Just did the deep breath and held it. It felt great. Oh, good. OG. Not only did it say to hold your breath, it said to tense up your muscles, too. If you've ever done that, that shit's awesome. All right, John Bishop. Let's do this. John Bishop, here we go. You're way over here. Um, this is you right here. Progress, not perfection. Get organized. Take 30 minutes today to declutter or organize a work area. Think about each object you pick up and focus on your senses. How does it feel in your hand when you pick it up? Enjoy the process. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Curly Sue. You're so welcome. Love and light. John Bishop. I just purchased your book. Oh, yay. Thank you. Look forward to reading through it. I hope that it serves you well. Joseph, thank you. Happy things. I'll try to visit your store soon. Thank you, man. Mud flap. Love it. Thank you. Oh, yay. Thank you. Believe my card. The storm will end. Always does. Although sometimes, just in the nick of time, like, I was about ready to, like, and they're like, okay, we give. I think that, that they need a break now. And you're like, send in the Amanita. <laughs> She's going to bail. <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes you just got to laugh about it. The forever love. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Well, we've done everything that I came here to do. You want to ask some questions? Or you want to talk about shit? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I know what I'm going to do. Those of you that are watching this later, I don't know how many people that watch the playback actually watch me pull all the cards. But if you did, if you stuck around, I'm going to pull three cards. And I want you to focus on the number one, two, or three. Pick a number, one, two, or three. Right now, pick a number, one, two, or three. Betty, I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, and three. This is card number one. If you picked the number one, trust your heart. Say thank you. Think of someone you know who has made your life better in a meaningful way. Let them know that you are grateful. This can be in person, by phone, or a simple text. If you pick the number two, here's your card. You ready? Trying your best is all that matters. Power of touch. Slow your mind down, close your eyes, and feel your way to peace. Trace a path around the thumb and fingers. Breathe in and out as you move up and down your fingers. And if you chose the number three, good vibes only. Picture your happy place in your mind. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you smell? Imagine it with as much detail as possible. Think of these sensations whenever you feel overwhelmed. So there you go. Those of you that couldn't make it today, you still got to have a card. <laughs> Do y'all have questions or anything? 
Um, Cyan said, let's sputter random words. And instead, everyone sputtered random numbers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Y'all are great. I'm an analytical reader of people. Can't turn it off. That, oh, good, Casey. Good for you. I love you too, Sarah. Thanks, y'all. I don't want to just randomly talk about shit that might be boring to you guys. Although that's what I do. <laughs> I have like 38,000 people sub to the channel. Um, if you want to try ibotenic acid, there's several ways you can do it. You can just break off of like a thumbnail sized piece of the mushroom and eat it. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, you can do a cold water extract. You just put it in water and stick that in the refrigerator overnight and then take the mushroom out the next day. And then just take it like liquid medicine or like spoon it into a, a cup of tea or something. That's all there is to it. Pretty easy. <laughs> Y'all are funny. Well, okay then. Um, happy holiday and happy beginning of Christmas. I'm already like into my Christmas stuff. And I'm going to decorate for Christmas tomorrow. Yes, yeah, Sarah, you and me both. How quickly does the tolerance build up? Um, yeah, it's I would Amanita is is an opposite tolerance. It has reverse tolerance. So it will work pretty quickly and help you, but then it will say no more. Like don't don't take any more. Like you'll feel sick and you'll start to get side effects that you don't like. And so you'll have to put time in between it. So like I have a protocol that I use and I made a video about a, a, this protocol and it's three days in a row. And then you start putting like three days in between your doses because it'll build up in your system and, and you won't need it. It'll start to make you sick. So it's not like you adapt and then need to take more and more and more because it's actually healing you. It's not trying to shove symptoms down. You know what I mean? Like it's actually going in and doing work. So you don't need that much. It's, it's healing your body so you can take less. Oh, your book is a must for newbies. Thank you, Sarah. That's kind of what I wrote it in mind, you know. Nice botanical. Um, Minnesota Nice Botanicals. If you go to, I can't link to it here or YouTube will take this down. But if you go to amnitadreamer.net and go to buy, that's where I have approved vendors. Um, OG. No, she was talking to Daniel. My bad. Um, made my first taste of tea tonight. I noticed a high pitched noise. Is that the thing? Yeah, that's the Ibo. I'll get that too in my ears when I start to peek on ibotenic acid. If you ever watch the video of me doing ibotenic acid for the first time, like I try different things on camera. Of course, I can't put it on YouTube. It's on amnitadreamer.net. Um, yeah, like I got that really, really big. That's how I know once I get that high pitch sound, um, that's how I know that I'm starting to cross over into a gamma flow state. And I talk about that in that video too. I don't like that high pitch noise. It's annoying, but I like it because it's a harbinger of I'm in the zone. It feels like the limitless drug. If you've ever heard of that movie limitless or ever seen it, that's what it feels like to me, like what they do in that movie. And I know when I start to get that high pitch sound that that's, you know how, I don't know if y'all get this, but like when I do psilocybin, I hear at first it's like a, like static, but a low rumble static, like, like this humming, but it's low and like, as I'm going higher and higher, cause like I take really, really high doses. As I'm going quickly, as it's building and building and building, that sound will go from a low rumble. It'll start going up higher and get higher and higher, but then it'll turn into the universal hum. Not 
that high pitch sound. It's, it's that it's, I don't know what else to call it other than the sound of the universe. It's beautiful. It's the universal hum, but Ibotenic acid is more of an embodied state. It's a very body mushroom. You know, like it brings you deeply into your body and then the things your body can do. And so it really pushes your brain into these high overdrive states of limitless like abilities and into these gamma, high gamma brainwave states, I think. And then that's when I hear that, that, that sound, that high pitch sound. Any more questions for any board? Um, if you've done psilocybin, do you want to put your dose, like your highest dose that you've taken in the comment section? I want to know what other people are doing. My highest dose was 10 grams. Each make a different sound. I'll try to source for it in the next slide. Um, there was no universal hum when I had to go to the intergalactic council. There was no universal hum there. There was no hum in the void. It was silent in the void. Um, Curly Sue, just want to say thank you for all your videos over the years. Aw, I trust your work, Jamer and the Amity, to heal my mind and body. Healing hug to all here tonight. It's your first lie, really? Dang, I go live every month. If you go to my um, live tab, you'll see that queued up, you know, whenever the next live is. Tam is here. Hey, man, 13. Oh, my God, I can't wait to get to 13. Oh, that's why I love hearing you talk. I love all your reels on Instagram. I watch every one of them that you post. If y'all aren't following Tam Integration, He's so good at helping you integrate. My very first high dose, I was having a hard time and he helped me integrate. He said some really amazing things. Um, but like Tam Integration right here and those of you that are watching after the fact, follow him on Instagram. He uploads the most insightful things, the things that he says. I hope you write a book. I would definitely buy it. <laughs> Even if it was just insightful things, each page, not connected to one another, but whatever. Anything you write, I want to read. I love your newsletter. I get your newsletter. I love it. All right. Love it. Speaking of love, it got to sign off. Glad I caught this. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm going to, my next live is going to be Christmas Day, but in our community, our private community, I do a, a Zoom coming up not this Saturday but next and then our Christmas party is December 23rd so hi awesome to see you yeah it's so great to see you too Tam can I call you Daniel over 20 gram but no sound experience holy crap Bert did you get sound on your way at least ever like at points leading up to 20 you're working on a book Oh, Daniel, that's amazing. I'm talking to Tam Integration, not you, Crypto Daniel. I am so happy to hear that. I will be first in line <laughs> if I can be. Let's see, OG Crypto. Thank you. Happy holidays. Bert, have sounds in lucid dreams. Oh, that's cool. Astral projection. Sarah, uh, well, it depends on what you call astral projection. Definitely psilocybin, like you go. Amanita is much more about being in your body, but you, you do leave, but you leave out another door than you do psilocybin. You leave by going deeply into your body and out the back through time. When I think of astral travel, I think of higher outer realms and off-planet places, which to me, psilocybin just does so well. That's my experience. Yeah, I would really like to know about your, like, 
uh, Daniel from Tam. I want to know like your experiences of the void and like, do you have any entities that you really like working with? Cause like mine are the praying mantis folk. They're pretty good folk. And Bert, you, do you have any entities that you like working with? Those of you that are watching this later, not during the live, you can also write in the comment section of the video. I always watch those. So if you also have done high dose psilocybin, I'd like to know. And about, like, do you hear that universal hum? And have you been to the void? And are there any entities that you work with? I just read Dale Pendle's children's book about praying mantis. Whoa, I don't know of this book. I mostly end up with deities and different pantheons. That's amazing. That's really amazing. I wonder why I'm only working with like entities and not deities. Maybe I'm just not ready. You know him. He wrote Pharmacopoeia. Why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound familiar? Have I met him? Did I meet him? Dale Pendle. I feel bad if I've met this human and I don't remember. Dale Pendle. I know that guy. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. I always know a face. So bad with names. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't met, but definitely know that face. Now I want to know that book. <laughs> Most deities are actually a race of beings called the Anunnaki. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what Daniel has a different, he, he deals with different pantheons of deities. So like when he was working with me, we were talking about some of the Hindu deities. He died a few years ago, but he wrote brilliant alchemical text. Wow. I guess I'll be asking for some of those for Christmas. <laughs> That's great. Thank you for turning me on to that. That's cool. Is it possible to meet the same entities on Amity and Sullivan? I, I haven't experienced that. They do work together. I've been on psilocybin and, and talked and met Amanita. And I've been on Amanita and had her talk about psilocybin as a fungal entity itself but i have never experienced a crossover of entities because on amanita all i meet are the the ancestors the amanita ancestors and my ancestors but on psilocybin i meet like beings from all over galaxies and universes and realities it's pretty cool astral i see your question that says can anyone see my comments This is really cool. Have you ever tried magic truffles? I haven't, no. Is it, it's also psilocybin, right? You ever do any plant medicine work with cactus? I haven't. I think that right now I'm just really steeped in um, mushrooms. I'm getting tired. Uh, I think that my next plant work will be ayahuasca. Pretty sure. I've been asking. I've been waiting. Um, but that's what seems like it's starting to line up for me is probably going to Ecuador to do ayahuasca, maybe. I don't know. But no. 
I don't, I don't feel any draw or kinship toward any cactuses. I hear that about peyote. Sarah, I hear that a lot. If you had the wonders mescaline. Mm -mm. Nope. Right now I'm just definitely in, in fungus land. The mushroom allies. Oh, I did DMT. That's true. I did DMT. They're nothing alike. They're just completely different. DMT sucked. I don't do well with highly processed stuff. I think that I would need, because I smoked DMT that had been processed and isolated out of the vine, you know? So I think that, I think I don't vibe well. I think I'm not ready to talk to machine entities yet. I don't mind them. I'm fully accepting of them. And I'm not one of those people that only believes that, you know, only nature is good. Like I love a Ferrari and I don't mind AI and I wouldn't mind machine elves and mechanical entities either. Like none of that bothers me. I just think I'm not ready for it. It's sub because um, my ex, well, I did it on camera. I mean, go to amniodreamer.net and go to, I do entheogens or drugs or whatever, and go see what happened. It was pretty crappy. I hated it. I don't want to do it again, but I may just to see if I can do a better job of it. Psilocybin is much more of a gradual experience. There's almost no peak. Yeah, 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 totally. Like you go up really, I blast off really hard and fast, but then it's just this really, I get what you're saying. Yeah. That is definitely different. Well, see, that's what I was saying, Astral, about the entities on Amanita. To me, the entities that I meet and that um, I think most people are, talking about and dealing with and that I hear and the thousands of experiences I've heard about just anecdotal, but is that we're only meeting the actual mushroom itself and its personality and, and the mushrooms ancestors on planet earth that have been on earth, the mycelial ancestors, but also their fungal ancestors off planet as they've lived in other planets, but it's still always this mushroom, not any other living sort of kind of entity. Um, Brody, have you ever heard of Yopos? Yeah, I've heard of them. I've never 5-MeO in them. Yeah. Um, I don't mind 5-MeO. I'm willing to try it. Um, UP, I have problems with muscular strength. Do you think I could get stronger microdosing Amanita? Um, so anything that has to do with questions about your body is considered medicine, practicing medicine. And because I'm not a doctor, I can't answer those questions or that would be practicing medicine without a license. So what I can do is I can refer you to the research on amniodreamer.net and just click the research tab and see if any of that makes sense to you. And then Baba Masha is a Russian doctor and she found Amanita the exact same time that I found Amanita. She was working over in California in, in Russian and she started a YouTube channel about the same time I started talking about Amanita on YouTube, but she was doing it in Russian and dealing with Russian people and people in Russia. And so what she did is she did this huge survey like on Telegram and she reported the results of it. So it's it's such a large number of responses that it's statistically significant. And she published it. So this is her research. So in it, um, I can look up what she's got in here about muscular strength. And see if she addresses it. Um but I talk a lot about ibotenic acid. I won't do that much here. I say some things. But if you want to know about ibotenic acid, go to amityadreamer.net and watch my whole playlist on ibotenic acid. If y'all will give me a moment, let me see if she talks about muscles in here and references muscles and strength or whatever. Musculoskeletal pain. Yeah, she talks a lot about pain. 
Um, mental enhancement, mood, motivation. Um, yeah, she doesn't really talk about strength, but she does talk about um, upregulating a lot of things that the nervous system deals with. And muscle strength is a product of nerve, nerve damage and nerve ability. So that's all I can say to answer your question without practicing medicine without a license. I know it wasn't very helpful. My apologies. Um, let's have you ever heard of John Bishop? Nope. Um, sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. You don't know the laws. That's my job. You don't have to apologize. You ask anything when in my community, my private membership community, like people there, they'll just throw questions at me and like I can answer them or I can't answer them, whatever. That's, that's my job, not yours. Um, the forever love. Hey, the pure Fabio dot can have a big soothing afterglow period and can be very effectively body wise. Uh, Ashley, do you believe the Amanita and the Santa link being a Siberian shaman? I have a whole video about it. And I have a really cool holiday playlist that I just moved up to the top of my channel. So go click on my channel and watch my video about the history of Santa. I mean, dot, not dot, excuse typo. Uh, Bert, Yopo is burning your nose. with like cleansing. Uh, Yuppie, thank you so Oh, you're so welcome. Body wise, typo again. You must be on a phone. <laughs> Timothy, I hear people saying if you ask the mushroom for something mental or physical, it will always be given. Has that been true? Absolutely. That's been true every time. Every time. Be careful what you ask for because you will get it. That, that's been true for me, yes. Well, welcome, Astral. Yeah, it's not that I don't want to answer your question. It's a very long answer <laughs> to your question. I want to answer it, and I did. I just put it in a video, so maybe that'll be easier for you. Of all fly Garrick around the world, what's your favorite? Mine? Well, okay. It depends on what I'm trying to do. The Persicinas here where I am have a, a huge amount of Loki energy. Very laughing, fun, and playful. And then the Thor energy that's very heavy and working is still very loving. So I like, the, I like mine locally. Outside of that, I really like the ones I found in Western Canada. Like in Vancouver. They have a very even feeling that feels very deeply loving. And then I really like the Siberian ones because they are so ancient that it's like immediately getting in touch with just all of the wisdom of, of the ages. They don't fuck around, but I don't mind that. Like if I'm going to journey with, with them, if I want to talk the, to the Siberian, I know I'm going in for some, some heavy shit. That was a good question, John. Brody. Oh, Brody's talking to Bert. Um, Astral, have you ever read Sacred Mushroom Cross? Oh, yeah. One of the first things I ever read. Um, I'm going to do some book reviews. I need to do more. I've been pretty slacking on that front. And I think that's the next book review I'm going to do. Actually. I need to print it out. and Because um, like, you can get, them on, get it PDF or whatever. Why don't, I'm just going to get it. I'm going to get a hard copy of it because I need to. I don't own one and I need to get one. So let me make a note about that. And I'll probably just give it away because I've given it to so many people. I, I, I'm surprised at how many people don't know about that connection, honestly. Uh, what are you finding hard to read? Oh, really? I blew through it really quickly. But I believe it. The only reason that I believe it is because I already know what the Catholic Church did to the world. Um, and then I know what this mushroom did to me. And I've watched what it has done to other people. And you see how I live my whole life now in reverence and worship to this mushroom. Like I've devoted my whole life. I went through a baptism and it is, it fits every real meaning of what I think baptism was supposed to mean 
the very first time I took it. It saved my life. It resurrected me. When I got up the next day, I had been baptized and I rose as a new human being. If that doesn't sound religious, <laughs> but like that's what this mushroom did. And I said, that's it. I will follow you for the rest of my life. I devote the rest of my life to you and I will do whatever you need. So that sounds suspiciously religious. And so I definitely see how... It could have easily been a mushroom cult that, you know, throw in some narcissism and then you got religion. <laughs> so I don't think that's a very difficult leap to understand if you were paying attention to history and then you become a user of mushrooms. Like it's a connection that seems pretty easy to make, in my opinion. I'm thinking about an ayahuasca trip to South America too for spiritual health treat for alcoholism. But if I could do it here, it'd be better. Um, Joseph, not that you shouldn't do ayahuasca, but one of the things I sell in my store is an addiction blend. There's a reason this is in it. If you don't want to smoke it, um, let me tell you what the statistics are about alcohol. Um, is you realize AA, the founder of AA, uh, did psilocybin and that's why he quit drinking. Like mushrooms and ending uh, dependence on things. Those, those go... This one is very, very... Um, let me find the part on alcohol. I can't talk in look up alphabetical words at the same time. <laughs> A-L-M, alcohol intake, tincture, consumption, addiction. Yep. She talks about it in her book. Yes. Um, Bert, you are the Amanita messenger. I'm one of them. I love it. I'm happy that that's me. I'm so honored. Um, LSD and psilocybin hit the same receptors. It's just LSD is an analog of it, you know. I use them interchangeably, although they're not because, like, I can't work with LSD very well. I think that whatever LSD does psilocybin does so much better because it's got a lot of um, entourage effect going on. No, Astral, we can't grow Amanita. It's not a stupid question. I mean, we can grow. You don't know about a mushroom, whether it can be grown or not till you ask somebody because some can and some can't. Um, and the deal with Amanita is it has to, it's mycorrhizal. So it has to grow with roots of a tree. So no, we can't. But like, um, some that are mycorrhizal, we have learned how to grow. But not this one. I think this one's going to be too complex. Yeah, AA founder did LSD. Yeah. I just use them interchangeably. Thank, which I should probably, that's probably a bad idea. I should probably not do that. It doesn't help with clarity, does it? it starts to border on misinformation. I don't want to do that. Um, thanks for the information you share next week. I will start to microdose. Be blessed. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for hanging out. If you want to take my class and microdose with our class, it's in January. Go to amnydreamer.net and go to events and y'all can see my whole winter lineup. I'm doing single day classes, week long classes, whatever. Joe, what up? So glad I ran into this tonight. Wow. I really wanted to share this pic from trip on full moon equinox in September, North Carolina. And I send a pic, um, Instagram. I'm Amanita Dreaming over there because Instagram took down my Amanita Dreamer account for no reason. Just yanked it. So I am Amanita Dreaming now. And I have, just so you know, because I have a ton of imposters over there, you know, that have, that are trying to copy my account. Um, I have 12 and a half thousand followers there. So if you see an account, oh yeah, that's blurry. If you see other accounts that have way less than that, it's not me. 
LSD is made out of a mushroom, very synthetic. Yeah. I mean, I tried it and I didn't, it didn't work well. I, it makes me continue to believe that I just need to really be working with um, fungal entities right now because every single time that I've tried to work with something synthetic, it does not go well for me. You're welcome, Joe. I mean, okay. <laughs> you didn't say thank you. You're like understood. Okay. Ooh, I'm tired. Y'all ready to go home? Let's go home. Thanks for coming to hang out with me. I love you guys so much. This is fun. So I will see you not this Saturday, but next in my private membership community at Mushroom Voice. That's my Saturday Zoom. I'll see you at our Christmas party. I'll see you guys here live on Christmas Day. And then starting in January, I will see you on Zoom for classes. In between then, I'm uploading videos. And yeah, if you watch the videos, if you are not subbed to the channel, half of you watch my videos are not subbed. It helps the, the AI know that people care and want to watch shit if you're subbed. So that helps. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being my family. I love you. No, I want to do that. What is that? Oh, oh, I'm getting close. What is it? It's it's this. It's that one. That's the one. That's the heart. <laughs> well, I'm glad you made your first live, Jan. No, it's it's like. It's that one. That one. <laughs> All right. Okay, y'all. Thank you. I love you, beautiful people. <laughs> Gang signs. I know, right in my dumbass, white, middle-aged, suburban ignorance. Peace out, y'all. Bye.